One of the things that I really hate seeing is when a plugin developer takes a plugin that works perfectly fine the way it is, and they try to reimagine it into something else that it doesn't need to be. It just ends up creating this monster learning curve that nobody ever asked for. However, when a plugin developer takes a plugin that already works really great and makes it work even better than it ever did before, that's something that I can get on board with. What's up everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel I do plugin reviews and tutorials, plus I want to give you all of the tips and tools that are going to make your Rust server ownership so much easier. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on and to get the latest updates on the Rust development world. I'll remind you a couple of times throughout the video to hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're watching, so please remember to do so. Alright, let's get on to today's video. Last night, I got the update that Kill You had put out a new version of Admin Menu. I had no idea that he was working on it. I mean, seriously, I don't have any communication with any of the team over at Chaos Code, so how would I know that? But much to my surprise, here it is, a brand new version of Admin Menu, and it looks awesome. So a little bit of history here in full transparency. Typically in the past, I've been teaching you how to use Permissions Manager. Permissions Manager is free and it works. It does exactly what we need it to do. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Permissions Manager. However, if you're going to step up your game and you want to have more control over the internal mechanics of what's going on in your server, then you would step into Admin Menu. Now, I've put out the flag. I've been trying to get their attention so that I can work with these developers. I want to be able to provide my viewers with with a discount code, some sort of a promo, something, some kind of an incentive program for after having watched my video, going and purchasing this plugin. Admin menu from Chaos Code does cost $15 USD. And if I could shave off a couple of bucks off of that $15, then maybe more people would buy it. And honestly, in the end, everyone wins. However, I haven't been able to get a hold of anybody at Chaos Code. I even sent Kill You a direct message right on their website. At the time of the recording of this video, I haven't yet received a response. He is in a different time zone from me, which just so happens to be all the way around the world for me, but that's okay. If I do hear from him and I'm able to set something up for you all, I'll put that information in the pinned comment down below. Now, while most of you are probably scrolling down right now to see if I put any information in that pinned comment, while you're down there, make sure you leave a comment on this video. And if you don't have anything to say, just leave me your favorite emoticon or something like that. And while you're scrolling back up so that you can watch the rest of this video, don't forget to hit that like button on the way by. Now this plugin has never had any dependencies in the past, however it does now. The dependency is free and only available from the Chaos Code website. It's linked directly on the documentation page, plus I'm going to put a link directly to it in the video description down below, right next to where you're going to click on to go get admin menu. As you can see I've highlighted on my screen there, there is only one command that you need to use to open up this GUI, and there are a whole plethora of permissions to determine what access each individual user or each individual group has access to. We're going to deal with all of that once we're actually in game. Once you've actually downloaded the admin menu plugin, as well as the chaos extension that is required to go with it, you go into your plugins folder and just drag and drop each one of those files into your plugins folder. I would suggest adding the extension first and then adding the actual admin menu plugin after that. Of course, if you have plugin watchers turned off, that's not going to matter. I would just suggest that you reload the extension first and then reload admin menu after. So if I had heard from Kill You prior to the production of this video, I probably wouldn't use another permissions manager to grant the required permissions in order to show you how this plugin works. I would just manually grant all of these permissions directly in the console the old fashioned way. However, being that I haven't actually heard from anybody from Chaos Code yet, I am going to use Stina Maru's permissions manager to grant the permissions to myself so that I can show you how to use admin menu. Well, now this is super interesting. So I've used permissions manager in hopes of bringing up the permissions for admin menu and it's not appearing on the list of permissions and I can't imagine that that's accidental. So either Kill You has made it so that the permissions are not accessible from permissions manager or Stina Maru has made it so that the admin menu permissions are not accessible from his plugin permissions manager. I'm not sure which but one of them has to be true. So now that means we're going back to the old-fashioned way anyways. So quite simply what I'm going to be doing is taking the permissions directly off the chaos code documentation page and transferring that into my console for my Rust server. And to manually grant a permission to a specified group, you do o.grant group and then the name of the group that you want to grant the permission to and then what the specific permission is. It looks exactly like you're seeing it on my screen right now. Okay, so actually no, I was being a bonehead and didn't actually have my test server up to date. Now that it is, I can do slash perms group admin 
and it brings it up like I expected it to. I don't know what happened there, whatever. So let's go into the permission sections for admin menu for our admin group. And here we get to decide what permissions we have access to when we use the command slash admin. So the dot use at the very bottom is obviously the most important one that allows us to actually use that command slash admin. All of these other ones are very self-explanatory and shouldn't cause any confusion. There are a couple of caveats to that though. This convars permission, for those of you that aren't familiar with convars, we're gonna get into that in just a minute. And then if you wanna be able to use the give command, so if you wanna be able to give items to other players, you have to have this permission granted right here. If you have a specific group on your server let's say you have a moderation team or something like that where they shouldn't be giving out items to other players and you only want them to be able to give items to themselves then you of course would grant this permission right here give self only if you want this group to be able to control the different groups that are available on your server then this permission is important right there and so on and so forth permissions players player blueprints all of these different things you can define what they have access to inside the actual GUI so just as an example before we get into all of the good stuff I'm to show you what this might look like if you don't grant your permissions correctly. So if we just use the dot use permission, this is what your GUI is going to look like. And by the way, this is my first live view of it actually on my server up and running. And already I can tell I'm in love. So right out of the gate, just having that dot use permission, we're granting this specific group access to console commands, chat commands, as well as player information. So let's go into player information and I'll click on myself. And this is the player information that's brought up. You might actually recognize this because it's very similar to player administration. However, if you wanna have full access to everything this plugin can do, of course, let's go through and we'll click on grant all, except we're gonna remove this give self only. You typically wouldn't have this permission granted to your admin group because you try Trust them 100% and you know that they're not going to screw over your server by giving out items that they shouldn't be giving out. So now as you can see slash admin looks a little bit different. We've got access to a whole lot more information at the very top here. Of course we still have access to these different console commands or chat commands. We can deal with permissions by individual player. We can deal with permissions for each individual group which I highly recommend that's the way you do things. I would actually prefer it that we didn't have access to grant permissions to specific users. There's no use case where you would only grant a permission to a specific player. You should be granting permissions to actual groups of players, even if that's just the default group. In this menu here, we can be creating groups, we can be editing groups, we can be deleting groups. If you wanted to start up a new group and you wanted to just clone an existing one, you can obviously click on this green clone button. It's going to make a direct replica, including all of the permissions that go with it. Or if you wanted to delete a specific group, you can of course click on the delete button and gone, there goes that group. If you wanted to create a new group directly from scratch you of course click on new group and then you can put in those details here and then click on create and now we have access to a third group then of course we can go in and deal with the permissions for that specific group as well if you want to know what groups a specific player has access to you click on user groups right here and I'll click on myself because that's the only person in this group you can see that I have access to the default group as well as the admin group you can add or remove players directly by clicking on whichever group you want to add them to or just click on it again to remove them from that group. If you want to be able to find out what users are in a specific group, we can go into group users right here and we can click on a specified group and it's going to tell you all of the players that have access to this group. So as you can imagine right here, I've already shown you $15 worth of product right here. Admin menu from chaos code has already paid for itself but let's keep going. But before we do, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and liked this video. I'm gonna skip over Convars just for a second and let's go into the give area right here. This is all fairly self-explanatory. It's just another method in which we can be giving items to players, which of course we all know that we should never be doing. But if we needed to, we can. So of course you click on a specific player and then you can go into the category, whichever category you wanna give them an item from. And then of course you click on that item and you can determine how many of those items you wanna to give to that player let's say 10 bear traps let's click on give and as you can see in the bottom hot bar there I now have 10 bear traps on my inventory you may have also noticed that on the left hand side of the screen there there's an a b c d all the way down to z this is a way for you to quickly search different players different permissions different things that are all associated by letter so let's say we were looking for a player that started with the letter f of course we could click on f and it'll show all of the players on our server that have a name that starts with f obviously if I go down to s it's going to show myself and if I want to show all of the players available in the server I can just click on this 
what is this called? And if you wanted to go back to the full list of players that are available on your server, you want to click on this button right here. I think it's called a tilde. Somebody can correct me in the comment section down below. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I'm also assuming that all of these images and graphics that you're seeing on the screen right there, I think those are being pulled in by the chaos extension. I don't recall seeing that on previous versions of the admin menu. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure the chaos extension does a whole lot more than just images and graphics, but bear with me here. I haven't had contact with kill you, so I don't actually know what the relationship is between those two plugins. All right, let's get into the convar section because I think this is going to be a pretty interesting section for a lot of people. Not the most used section, but still very cool. All right, so just as I expected, this is going to bring you into a section where you have a ton of control over every single parameter of your server. Literally all of the convars that we've ever seen before and probably some that you've never even heard of are going to be accessible directly from this GUI. We can control the bear population up here in the top right hand corner. We can determine the maximum number of failed code lock attempts before the player gets killed. We can work with decay rate scales. We can turn on or off AI movement. So your NPCs, your animals, stuff like that. You can do it directly from this GUI. There are pages and pages and pages of convars that you have access to and you can completely customize how your Rust experience is going to go. There's no way that I could go through all of these. There's way too much information for each individual one of these convars. But if you want a detailed breakdown of what each one of those individual convars does, head on over to Corrosion Hour and you can scroll through the entire list of these convars, what they do, what their parameters are, and what the syntax is in order for you to be able to utilize it. A ton of information directly available from Corrosion Hour. All right, so because I quite often make the comparison between Admin Menu and Permissions Manager, we need to spend a little bit of time I'm explaining how the permissions actually work when you're using admin menu. So if we go into the permissions section and click on this player, or if we wanted to work on a specific group, we can do that too. And this is where you get to toggle on or toggle off each one of the permissions for each individual plugin. Similar to what you've seen me do with permissions manager, just the layout is a little bit different. And there is no granted or revoked tag. Now you can see the permissions that are granted to each individual group in this specific case are outlined in green. If we wanted to remove a specific permission, we just simply click on it again. So as you can see there, I just granted admin group B grade four, and I can just click on it again and it removes that permission. If you wanted to be dealing with each individual player separately, which I highly suggest you don't, but you certainly can go into the player section right here, and then you can deal with each individual player that's on your server. And then you have access to the exact same permissions, but now you're only dealing with that specific player and all of the permissions associated with the group stay the same. Now that I have all of the really important things and the things that I think people are gonna make the most use of out of this plugin, let's go back and deal with some of the things that I kind of glazed over a little bit. So let's go into the player info tab. Let's click on my player character. And here we have this screen that I'm sure a lot of you have seen in the past. But what can we do with this screen? So obviously we can kick or ban the player that we are looking at right now. This is obviously myself, so I'm not actually gonna do it, but you can put in a reason that gets flashed up on their screen once you actually click on confirm. So in this case, I'd be kicking myself because I haven't actually subscribed to my YouTube channel yet. Or if I click on the ban button, of course the same thing we can put in a reason and Spectre hasn't liked this video yet therefore he's going to get banned from my server we can strip this player's inventory which just so that you know that inventory goes it gets obliterated it disappears into the universe it's not like it goes into your inventory it's not like it goes into a storage box somewhere it just disappears so if you click on that button just know that that inventory is gone forever you cannot recover it. if you want to click on the reset metabolism button I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well because the GUI is kind of in the way there it goes it reset my food and my water meter back up to full health again. Mute chat, unmute chat, hurt, heal, all of these different things you can do directly from this GUI. On the left hand side of the GUI, it's also giving you a ton of physical information about the player that we're inspecting at this point in time. Name, Steam64, online, sleeping, offline, where they are in the world, their grid location, their health, their calories, all of this different information. All directly from this GUI. It's beautiful. It's a admin menu is absolutely a work of art. I love it. So before I just did what I just did, you were able to see the view backpack button on this GUI, which led me to think that if I add a couple of different plugins on there, you would actually be able to utilize them. And much to my surprise, those buttons actually appeared once those plugins were installed and the permissions were granted to me. So now I can actually go in and click on the view inventory button and it's going to bring up my inventory. If I was on another player, it would show their inventory as well as my inventory. So if I needed to yoink something out, I could do that. Or if I wanted to put something in their inventory, 
and be all persnickety about it, I could do that too. While I was at it, I also added the freeze plugin. And of course, I granted myself the permission to use the freeze plugin, and now I'm able to freeze and unfreeze players as I choose. But the reason I bring this up is more about the fact that when the plugin is not actually installed on the server, those functionalities don't even appear on the GUI. And I absolutely love that. It keeps it looking cleaner. The one that is concerning to me though is the view backpack button. And because I know that there's been changes to the backpack plugin, in fact, on this test server, I'm using 3.10, which I'm gonna tell you all about in an upcoming video, but that could be why the view backpack functionality in the GUI doesn't actually function the way that it's intended to. However, everything else does. So view inventory, obviously you've seen that happening and the freeze and unfreeze do also work. Again, the most important part is if those plugins aren't installed, those buttons don't even appear. And I like that. All right, I definitely think that that's enough crushing on admin menu from Chaos Code. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave that thumbs up for me. It helps me out a lot. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Before you click off of this video though, if you wanna check out more plugins or more tutorials, make sure you check out the video on the left-hand side of your screen. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.